Hi, you guys. Merry Christmas. When you guys are watching this, it will be after Christmas, but I hope you and your family had a wonderful Christmas and holiday period. I do want to wish you guys a happy new year as well. As you guys can see, today I am sharing my giant epic Hermes haul, which will also be what I got for Christmas this year. There's two boxes that I picked up a whole year ago. So last Christmas, I did film a what I got for Christmas, but I didn't get a chance to post part two. I definitely want to unbox today. I also did pick some things up for my parents for Christmas. I will be sharing with you a lot of items. I hope you guys grab some coffee, grab some tea, and let's get started so i'll start off with this box this one is actually a ready to wear piece <laughs> so i don't think you guys can guess what is in here let's unbox this one first this is something that i picked up in september i think nice is this print? Can you see what it is yet? <laughs> it's actually a shirt dress. And this print is very classic for MS. And I just really love this colorway as well. So it's a white base with a lot of browns and tans. Just something really easy to spray on and it is pretty casual as well. So I will definitely see myself wearing this a lot so i am really glad to finally unbox this with this one the price was actually pretty affordable i will find the receipt and let you guys know but here is the tag if you're interested this one is a size 34 i usually am a 34 in hermes it's 100 percent cotton when i saw this i think it was hanging if I can find any vlog footage, I might insert that now. But yeah, when I tried this on, I think I had my Birkin with me, if I remember correctly. And yeah, they just looked really cute together. And I think I did have my Osmules as well. So it was a really perfect outfit. I don't think I've shown you guys this Hermes Kelly doll bag. Look how cute it is. It has a little backpack. <laughs> And check out this yellow Kelly 25 in return. Oh my god, and the adorable Kelly doll charm. Loving these tricolor Osmules in all these gorgeous neutral shades. The Osmules are one of my most worn shoes, so I wouldn't mind getting another pair. Which color do you guys think? These are so fluffy and soft. Look at these furry orange sandals in this gorgeous purple color. Unfortunately, I cannot pull them off. This is the moment I saw the Hermes dress. The print is so gorgeous. If you prefer something a little bit more plain, this t-shirt dress with the embroidered H on the pocket also looks really nice in this rich burnt orange color. They had some really nice cashmere sweaters. Look at these gorgeous neutrals. Okay, I really like this jacket. It is black and white. You know I love <laughs> black and white. It has a cool astrology inspired print. I love it. It's actually quite thick and warm. This is the t-shirt dress on me. You can see I am wearing my Ferrin doll earrings. I love these earrings so much. And also my Ferrin doll necklace. I did have on my Birkin 25 in cray. On my feet, I have my Osmules. Also have on my white Kelly belt. What do you guys think of this outfit? 
do we love? I wanted to have a look at the Super Silk Quest Twilly. Look at all these gorgeous colorways. I was the most drawn to this purple <laughs> surprise prize, but I feel like it looked a little bit too dark for my Birkin. What do you guys think? My essay is helping me tie it onto the bag handle so I can get an idea of how it would look. Which one do you think suits my bag the best? This colorway is also really nice. My essay was so sweet. He steamed my other two twillies. Ooh, look at this basket bag. A white rolly. Do you guys like the bleed bag? Or what about the getter bag? The gypsy air. This one's growing on me. Do you guys prefer the Pikaton or in the loop bag? Check out this ostrich Birkin. This is a Constance in matte alligator. Oh, so stunning. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of my ready to wear this little t-shirt dress. It's really cute, right? So from the vlog footage, you would have seen that I was looking at Twillies and I thought, you know, it's probably time to update my Birkin, give it a fresh new look. So I did try on quite a few Twillies and decided on one. <laughs> it is in here. Actually, it is on my bag already. We will unbox this here and I'll show you the Twilly. So we have a label and this one is called the Super Silk Quest. Let me grab my Birkin to show you guys. Ta -da! So this is what the Twilly looks like my bag out so you guys can see. Oh, I still need to unbox my other Hermes bag <laughs> that I got in April. <laughs> oh god. But yes, this is what the Twilly looks like. So I really like how this part is blue and white. So it goes really well with my Birkin, which is in grey. And the rest of the colours you'll see from the vlog footage. <laughs> it looks really pretty, right? The Twilly I had on there previously was this one here, which I also really love. This was a very popular one. I did get two of them to wrap on the handles. When I purchased this Twilly, I was thinking, oh, I'll just have one because I didn't actually see the need of having it on the back until I came home and examined the Twilly that my essay took down. And I can see so much gray marks on there. If I can show you guys, it's probably subtle, but yeah, it is definitely got dark. Like you see this area here. See how it's a little bit grayish? Yeah, so the Twilly definitely protects your bag handle. Ah, maybe it's on this one, it's more noticeable. Yeah, oh my gosh. Look how discolored that looks. Look at this part, right? And this part here, it's very discolored. And even this bit here. So I think going forward, because it is white, I really want to protect the handles. So currently I put on a Tuli from a while ago, but I think I need to go back and get another Tuli. I keep forgetting to do this because I haven't used this bag in a few months. This bag has held up so well. For being white, I see no wear and tear on her. All the corners are still perfect. 
there's no color transfer. I think Hermes leathers are a bit more hard wearing compared to Chanel and the color don't transfer as easily. Yeah, which is good when you're spending that much money on your Birkin or Kelly. You don't want accidents to happen and cause color transfer. Definitely, if you guys have light colored Birkins or Kelly's, I would highly recommend that you get a twilly for your back handle because if I didn't have these on there, like all those grayish marks would be on the bag handle like that is just so shocking like how dark and discolored that is for your Birkin get two twillies yeah it's definitely worth it to protect your investment right next let's unbox this one here this I actually got for my parents <laughs> this was the one time when mom didn't go with me shopping so I had a chance to go see my Hermes essay to pick this up oh and those of you that don't follow me over on Instagram uh, actually my <laughs> my Instagram account was deactivated again oh my gosh all the drama with Instagram I'm just like so over it oh hopefully I can get my account back but Otherwise, I'm just not going to worry about Instagram for now. Anyway, I did share that my Hermes essay has been transferred to another store. So sadly, this haul will be the last shopping haul through my previous Hermes essay. We had such a great relationship. So devastated when I got the message that he is leaving. He's still with Hermes but he will be in the city store and because mom and I we both shop so much at Chaston already and we're still waiting for our bags so yeah it's with a heavy heart that we have to just continue on at the Chaston boutique with a new essay. She is lovely as well so I have met her or seen her a few times but officially I haven't shopped through her yet. I already got all my Christmas presents so I don't have anything that's really pressing on my wish list. So yes <laughs> we will go see her maybe in the new year. I'll share with you what I got my parents. This is one of the items. Those of you that know your boxes, you might already know what is in here. Oh gosh. It is a mosaic cup or a mug, I should say. So this is super gorgeous. I love how it sparkles. The reason why I got this one for parents is because last year I got them the coffee or teacup set <laughs> and they told me they always drink their morning coffee with the set and they really love it so I thought this time I'll get them a mug so they can probably drink water <laughs> or other drinks in here where it's a little bit bigger capacity so yeah this one would be a good addition for them so this is the mosaic 24 so it's plated in 24 karat gold and it's a tribute to the mosaic floor of the 24 Faberg store in Paris. So there is another one in here, which I don't think I'll unbox because it's exactly the same. So I've got a set of two for them so they can each have a cup <laughs> when they're drinking their water or beverage. <laughs> so I hope my parents will get a lot of use out of these. They're gorgeous. While looking at the cups <laughs> for my parents, I couldn't resist picking one up for myself. I really should have unboxed it ages ago when I first got it so I can start using it. It has been so long since I got this so I don't even remember which colour I went with which is a bit concerning, right? This is how you know that you shop way too much. So let's see which one I ended up getting. Ah, yes! Of course, I went with the white. <laughs> so here's the little care booklet. And this is the mug I got for me. This is the Art Deco H porcelain cup. I'm pretty sure my essay said you can put it in the dishwasher. Not that I will, but it's a bit less delicate 
than this one because of the gold you can't really use really harsh chemicals or put it in the dishwasher it has to be hand washed whereas this one is a bit more hard wearing if you guys are looking for a nice coffee mug <laughs> this one might be a good one to get this one does come in the black and white and also it was like a uh, a red like a rouge color it's also really nice but i just love white of course i look forward to drinking water out of this which will hopefully <laughs> help me drink more water because i am always dehydrated i feel like i can never remember to drink water and also when i'm at work <laughs> it's just too busy to even drink water in between patients so <laughs> when i'm home i really need to help my body stay more hydrated i'm so happy i finally unboxed this so i can start using it and with the h deco mugs they are inspired by the elevators in the paris stores where they have this interlaced detail this is a really nice you know tribute to Hermes and their gorgeous architecture and design in their stores in Paris now I think let's unbox the little eyeshadow palette that I picked up this is the first time Hermes started creating eyeshadows I couldn't resist this color I went to swatch all the colors this is the one that appealed to me the most but they were sold out so I had to wait for the second drop and yeah they came back into stock because these ones are not limited edition thankfully <laughs> so I'll share with you which one I ended up getting the metallic shades in all of the eyeshadows are so beautiful i was actually so shocked because with hermes i just thought it would be you know very neutral and the colors are going to be quite soft <laughs> there's definitely a punch to the metallic shades so this is how it comes with the orange box the compact is inside oh, it is a bit hard to open so there's what the compact looks like so this is the same size as their blush palettes so this is the ombre the Hermes. i got the number one ombre patel how beautiful right oh wow that is stunning so gorgeous wow that pink shade is definitely what drew me into this palette the pink is so fun this metallic shimmer shade is my favorite metallic out of all the ones i swatched i'll put some swatches up on the screen for you guys to see the other one i think it's number six maybe that one is also really pretty so i was tempted to pick up both but i thought let me try this out first if it's good then i'll go back this one is still pretty neutral like if you don't use the pink everything else is a pretty neutral color story and with the eyeshadows they do also include a brush which is pretty cool so there is a little orange sleeve where the brush slots into so this is really good for traveling there's the brush there it is really soft hmm what i'm noticing can you guys see there's a little bit of color transfer <laughs> on the brush handle there hmm that's interesting but it does say Hermes Paris on the handle maybe that's my fault for leaving it in the dust bag for too long because the lining there is black yeah so I would say maybe don't store your brushes inside because the color might rub off on your brushes actually I don't think it's from the inside because the orange tube is all orange inside and this was sitting inside that tube so I don't know maybe it was just like a faulty brush but that's okay doesn't matter <laughs> it is all right the packaging is super pretty and this one does also have a hole on the back so you can pop it out and it is refillable which is good if you ever run out of it you can just purchase the refill you don't have to buy the packaging again let's unbox this one here this one is super cool let me show you guys See a little pouch. How 
beautiful. They are H hoops. There is another one here. How gorgeous are they? I have actually been looking for a pair and I just happened to remember <laughs> and ask my essay the same day that I went to pick up the eyeshadows, I believe. There has been a new shipment. This one had the Noir, which is the black with rose gold. That's the one I ended up picking. I also tried on the yellow gold and there was this burgundy color, which also looked really nice. But I thought this year is probably easiest to match with outfits. I can probably wear this a lot more more often than a burgundy shade. Even with today's outfit, I can definitely wear this. So let me actually put it on and show you guys. I think these ones are called the Olin earrings. I'll put the name on the screen for you guys. Hermes Rose Gold is really beautiful, I think. The earrings that I was wearing are the Ferrandol earrings in rose gold as well. This one is fine jewelry. It is 14 karat rose gold. And these ones are a little bit on the heavier side. Not like super, super heavy but there's definitely some weight to I am them. a little bit worried because my ears are quite sensitive, so I'll wear them and see how I get on with them. But yeah, they look really nice, right? <laughs> I love them. Oh, I'm pretty sure this was the day that I went to see Chanel 24C. So it was the launch day of Chanel 24C and <laughs> You know how I got those yellow gold medallion earrings? Then I went to Hermes and I saw these. So I think that's why I didn't end up getting the yellow gold. I went with the rose gold because I was like, I just got a pair of yellow gold earrings. All right, they're both in now. So that's what it looks like. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? And again, you know, with my long hair, it is visible, <laughs> which is the main reason I am definitely getting more into larger size earrings, so hoops, more dangly earrings rather than studs, because with studs, you really just can't see them <laughs> under my long hair. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. We are on the home stretch now. <laughs> There's all these long boxes to unbox. If you guys have watched my previous Hermes hauls, you would already know what are in these boxes. So two of them I actually got last year. We'll let younger Amy tell you about these two pieces. One of them is actually a really special piece. So let's cue the Christmas unboxing video from last year. Let's unbox this one first. I got this one for a particular bag. Ta -da! It's a cute Pegasus in this bright pink color, which is so gorgeous. The strap in the main is in Rose Sakura. So this is my first Rose Sakura piece and I adore this color. I really hope one day I can own a bag in this Rose Sakura color. That would be the ultimate dream. It is super pretty. Let me go grab Rosalina, which is my Pikaton. Here she is. Don't you think they are just a match made in heaven? Oh, I am obsessed. Isn't that just so pretty? The bright pink really pops against the mauve Sylvester. They are just such a perfect combo. I got super lucky with this one. When I went to the store, my essay said a few just came in and I was actually looking for a pink one so that it can go on Miss Rosalina here. I'm super stoked. All right, so now we're on to this box. This one is actually my first exotic. It is a touch. What color do you think it is in? Ta -da! The saddle for this one is in Lizard and it is tone on tone, which I thought it was so special. This blue color is very vibrant and you know, blue is a neutral, so you'll go with pretty much any colored handbag. I think it's blue France. That is just so adorable. And with all exotic pieces, you do get, I think a piece of paper that says, you know, it's exotic. And if you do happen to travel with your exotic pieces, make sure you bring the piece of paper with you. Otherwise they may have problems going through customs. Anyway, so I'm really glad 
I managed to score my very first exotic piece. It's just a little touch. So I think this is called the touch radio or radio. I think she would look really cute on my Birkin. Yeah. Even on Rosalina here. That still goes nicely. It is very cute. Love this one so much. This one I have worn a few times on my Birkin. And also like when I go shopping, I would have it on. And you may have seen it from far away, but I didn't show you guys close up. <laughs> it has the lizard. This is the very first exotic piece that I picked up. It is so cute, this tone on tone blue. This blue is the same as my Mini 22 blue. <laughs> I should start wearing this on my Mini 22. And then this one I have not even worn yet. But I couldn't resist and like I said, Rose Sakura is such a gorgeous shade and I've always wanted to add Rose Sakura to my collection. So yeah, this horsey is the very first one that I was able to get because I have so many Rodeos and Pegasus. This year I tried to stop myself from buying any more of them, but I did go into the store because I wanted to see if I can get one for mom. Mom has been after a Pegasus for the longest time, but she's just never found a combination that appealed to her. Even when I went last year, you know, when I picked up this one, my essay said he had two of them. I asked my mom if she wanted one, but she said she didn't like the pink. So this year, when I went in for the eyeshadows, I asked him if any Pegasus have come in. I picked out one for my mom and then another one for myself because I just couldn't say no to it. You'll see why when I unbox it. <laughs> So I'll show you guys the one I got for my mom first. This one is so cute, so I hope she will really like this. We are going out for dinner tomorrow, so I'll give it to her there. <laughs> the Pegasus is definitely a lot cuter than the Rodeos, right? Let me show you guys. Ta-da! How cute is this one? I have been really getting into yellow. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. The body is in cray and the wings, I put it on the screen. How beautiful is this? Little horsey for mom. And because mom has a gold ticketon, I thought the wings would match it really well. And also the yellow goes really nice with gold. So yeah, I thought this would be a perfect combination for her. And because she has been looking for one for the longest time, I thought this would be the perfect Christmas gift. And also she does have a Baton Mini Evelyn. The cray body and Baton would go really perfectly together as well. I'm super happy. I'm managed to grab this for my mom <laughs> and I told my essay if my mom asked him during this period if there are any Pegasus just tell her no <laughs> Oh, I'm going to miss my essay so much we have so much fun shopping together <sighs> I'm so sad that he's leaving uh, I'll have to make a trip to the city store to go visit him <laughs> Now, let me show you guys the one I couldn't resist. You will definitely understand when you see the color combination. <laughs> Can you guys see? Ah, oh, it is so cute. Mauve Sylvester is one of my favorite pinks from Hermes. And this one is my very first Mauve Sylvester Halsey. Ah, oh, it is so gorgeous. The wings are chai. And you guys know I have a mini Evelyn in chai. The strap and the mane is cray. So, oh, how perfect is this horsey? It'll go with all of my Hermes bags. So let me show you. Look at that. So perfect. I oh, love this combination. It is so cute. It looks so nice with this Twilly as well, right? And I did bring my Picaton. Here is my gorgeous Mauve Sylvester Picaton. Oh, wow. Look. Oh my gosh. This makes me so happy. <laughs> so happy I didn't resist this one. Because <laughs> look at that. That is perfection. Ah. Love that so much. Of course, it will look nice on my Mini Evelyn as well. So I have my Chai Mini Evelyn here. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. 
I definitely will be getting a lot of wear out of this horsey, I think. It is probably my favorite combination. Oh, and this, and maybe the, the very first Pegasus I got, which was in Blue Broom. That one is also my favorite. So yeah, these two horses, which one do you guys like better? I think the Mog Sylvester looks nicer, doesn't it? It's a bit more neutral, whereas this one, it might not go with everything because it is a bright color. But I think on the Pikaton, this one, the color really pops. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one would be so nice on Mom's gold Pikaton. So you can see how it looks with Chai. Gold will be, you know, darker than this. Looks so nice with the yellow pop-up color and then the body being neutral. Yes, yeah, so I think she will really like this. What do you guys think? Let me know which Rodeo or Pegasus is your favorite from my haul. <laughs> Are you guys still with me? <laughs> I know this one will be a very long video, so thank you if you guys have made it this far. We are almost done. One large box left. I'm actually really excited to see this again because I haven't seen it since I got it, which was, I think, in October. <laughs> Ta-da! It is a pair of shoes. Mmm, smells so nice. So it is a pair of Santorini sandals. I have been looking for this sandal. I was after the white color, but when I saw this gorgeous pink, I couldn't resist. This is Rose Pale. So super gorgeous and very popular pink. Let me show you the other shoe. So beautiful, right? So I got it in my regular size, which is a 37. How pretty is this pink? Just want to share with you a quick vlog from the day when I went to pick up these Santorini sandals. They had this color in the orange sandals as well. Those beige loafers look quite nice with the Kelly buckle. I think these ones are called the Premier sandals in Lizard. Sheep sandals looks like vert fizz. This is the Oasis sandal. All the prices here are from last year, so before their price increase. So the Oasis sandals now are 1415. Wow, that's an 11% increase. Oh my god. These sandals have a cork platform. They actually feel surprisingly comfortable. In the end, I decided to go with the Santorini sandals. You can see here, I am wearing the Mog Pale Kelly belt. This is actually the belt that my essay had on hold for me. Here's a quick color comparison. So you can see the Santorini sandals, which are in Rose Pale. It's a much warmer shade of pink, whereas the Mog Pale Kelly belt is a cooler toned pink. Which pink do you guys like more? I ended up going with a different belt, which I'll share with you guys in a separate unboxing video, as this video is already getting way too long. For all my male viewers, here are some eye candy from the men's section. You can see some cool sneakers, quite a few loafers. Wow, these sheep sandals are gorgeous in croc. How nice is the embroidery on this denim jacket?
these pastel shades are so cute for summer. Look at this lilac. They feel more comfortable than the orange sandals, that's for sure. I think it's because of the added strap. It makes it a lot more secure on your feet. So when you're walking, it doesn't feel like your feet's going to just slip out. <laughs> A toe box is not too square or too round, so it's sort of like a happy medium in between the oasis and the orange. So yeah, these ones I am very excited to start wearing while we are still in summer. <laughs> I don't know if I should bring them with me to Europe next year. I am going to Europe with mom. I will be taking you guys shopping with me. How fun is that going to be? So make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already. When I'm looking through my analytics, only about 18% of you are subscribed, which is really low. So if you enjoy watching my videos, please do consider subscribing. That's it for my massive Hermes haul. Do comment below to let me know which item was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys had a lovely Christmas and I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye!